Hello, sports fans, and welcome to the Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Update Show. Uh, and it's week eight, and it's the uh, Vikings and the uh, Rams tonight at uh, at uh, SoFi Stadium, and uh, and we'll talk about that. It's right now they're tied at 14, the second quarter, 4.46, uh, left until halftime. And it's the first and 10 at the Rams uh, 35, and the Rams have the ball. So what's going to happen? Well, what we all think is going to happen, and uh, I want to read the previews for you and uh, a recap what we've had happen so far in this game. But first, here is today's Scott Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Week 8 Trivia Question. It's a Vikings trivia question. The Vikings' record in 1998 was 15-1. Who was the lone team to beat them? I will have the answer later in the podcast. Well, it's Thursday Night Football uh, Week 8. They were a great NFC matchup for you tonight, as I've mentioned. The Minnesota Vikings and the Los Angeles Rams are, are having their clash right now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, uh, California. Uh, the Vikings came out. It's... Uh, 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 strong winning uh, five straight games to start the season with a uh, with and uh, with Sunday with Sunday's uh, thirty one to twenty nine loss to the Lions, their first of twenty twenty four. However, Minnesota was in position to win the game uh, and leading twenty nine twenty eight with the with four sixteen left in the fourth quarter. The offense went. Uh, Three and out in their territory. Uh, in their territory. Oh. In their, in their territory. And uh, punted to Detroit with 2.41 remaining on the clock. The Lions marched down the field and picked a go-ahead field goal with uh, 15 seconds. The Vikings running game uh, spearheaded by Aaron Jones will look to continue. Uh, Producing on the ground, however, uh, what's uh, mo what's most notable uh, player on the Minnesota offense is quarterback Sam Darnold, uh, the number eight, the number uh, the twenty eighteen number three pick uh, has excelled in uh, Coach Kevin O'Connell's offense, uh, throwing twelve touchdowns uh, to five interceptions. Uh, Darnold entered the season as the uh, presumptive uh, veteran uh, bridge quarterback for rookie uh, first-round pick J.J. McCarthy. Unfortunately, McCarthy was ruled out uh, for the season after undergoing surgery on uh, a torn uh, uh, men menaces, uh before uh, the season kicked off. As the start of Don Donald uh, holds a cancer rating, of 104, some of the best in the NFL. Week is significantly improving uh, from his uh, career average passer rating, 78.3, excuse me. Uh, the latter would uh, would rank 32nd among qualified uh, passers this season. Uh, also, uh, assisting uh, the Vikings offense has been their... Uh, uh, defensive uh, coach by Brian Flores. They ranked first in, in the defensive DVOA and uh, FTN entering week eight. Jamison Williams was suspended. Uh, it was a, a suspended suspension link. Moved to uh, and more to know about that uh, about uh, Lions uh, about uh, the Lions uh, wide receivers ban that. That said, the Rams will be hungry for another win after defeating the Las Vegas Raiders 20 to 13 in week seven. Uh, typically a uh, potent Rams offense has uh, struggled with injuries in 2024. Uh, Cooper Cup and uh, uh, Puka Nakua have been uh, battling injuries, but the version, the veteran uh, Cup is in line to start on Thursday night. Uh, the Rams, uh, the Rams offense has struggled without their dynamic duo out wide as both are key uh, cogs to know uh, Sean McVay and Matthew Stafford uh, operate in the passing game. 
Help has been out since, since uh, suffering a high ankle sprain in week two and will provide a much-needed boost to the league's uh, 17th-ranked team in offense uh, d- uh, DVOA. Stafford completed 34 of 49 passes for 317 yards and one touchdown with one interception back in week one with a cup when he uh, healthy. Uh, the Rams' toughest task on Thursday night will be slowing down one of the league's best wide receivers, Justin Jefferson. Los Angeles defense uh, sits 28th in uh, defensive DVOA entering week eight. The Vikings are off to an excellent start, but the Rams are fighting to establish themselves as contenders in a wide open NFC West. Stafford versus the Blitz will be the key matchup to watch on TNF. Minnesota's blitz heavy attack against the veteran quarterback could disrupt uh, the Rams' passing game, especially with Cup getting his legs back underneath him in, in his return. Uh, and uh, uh, in his return, so uh, but I expect uh, both teams to play hard, which they have this first half, and uh, and uh, I will. Uh, be uh, giving you an update on uh, I, I will give you an update on what's been going on in uh, just a moment and uh, uh, but first it's time right now to reveal the answer uh, to today's uh, Scott Sports 101 uh, Thursday Night Football Week 8 Trivia Question and here's the Vikings trivia question. As I mentioned, the Vikings' record in 1998 was 15-1. Uh, the Vikings' lone regular season defeat came the uh, – who was the lone team, excuse me, uh, to uh, to beat them in that year in 1998? And if you said uh, – let me repeat that. The Vikings' record in 1998 was 15-1. Who was the lone team to beat them? There. Now we go. Excuse me. I'm sorry about that. And if you said – Tampa Bay, you you are correct. Vikings' lone regular season loss uh, defeat came in Tampa as the Buccaneers won 27-24. Now I have another trivia question on my next podcast, which will be on Sunday for the Browns NFL early, early uh, games pregame show, so stay tuned for that. Right now I'm going to go over what's gone down in the first and second quarters so far. The Vikings scored their first touchdown of the game. Sam Darnold's pass left to uh, Oliver for the five-yard touchdown. Uh, the return extra point is good, and it's a seven-nothing. Uh, it was seven-nothing Vikings. Uh, the uh, LA Rams scored their second, their first touchdown of the game. Uh, it was a uh, turn goal to Minnesota five. Matthew Stafford's pass uh, uh, short middle to uh, uh, to. Keller Williams, uh, the nine-yard touchdown. Uh, Cardi's extra point is good, and it was seven, tied at seven. Then the the uh, Minnesota Vikings scored their second touchdown of the game. First and ten at the uh, Rams' ten. Sam Donald's pass short to uh, uh, Sherfield for the ten-yard touchdown. Uh, Richard's uh, extra point is good, 14-7 Vikings. And the, uh, the the Rams came right back and scored their second touchdown of the game. Their second one, Matthew Stafford passed short to a upper cut for the seven-yard touchdown. Party's extra points good, and we're tied at 14. The uh, the uh, Vikings had to go three – had to punt after going three and out. Three plays one yard. Then the uh, Rams had to punt after going three and out. Six plays ten yards. Vikings had to punt once again after going three and out. Three plays six yards. And the uh, the Rams have to punt once again uh, after going three and out. Eight plays, uh, 39 yards. And then uh, first and 10 at the Minnesota three. Aaron Jones up the middle to the to the Minnesota five for two yards. Uh, and uh, Minnesota's uh, uh, center, uh, Dershaw, was injured during that play. And then Sam Darnold kneels at the Minnesota four for minus one yards. And that's where we stand. At halftime right now, tied at 14. Well, 
Who will emerge victor? Both teams are going to be playing hard that second half. You better believe it. So, And I'm going to Minnesota this evening. I do believe my brother-in-law is too, so I don't know yet, but we'll see. So uh, just expect these teams to play hard, and I think it's going to come down to a last-second touchdown or field goal either way. Uh, well, uh, uh, and... I just want to let everybody know the Cavs won their season opener last night against the Toronto Raptors in Toronto, 136-106. to And Evan Moby lived the, the Cavs scoring with 25 points. Uh, and Donovan Mitchell had 21, and uh, and and we had uh, about six players in double-digit figures. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scouts Sports 101 Thursday Night Football Update Show. And I'll be back with the post-game show once the... Uh, Game between the Vikings and the Rams has concluded. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. 3-2-1. I'm done.